Hi there, so good to see you. Peace and blessings. Today let's talk about the law of attraction and how we bring things into our life. I'm going to give you five ways you can manifest the thing that you want into your life. The thing that you have been thinking about and, and really desiring. You can bring that into your life. You know, we sometimes have big dreams big hopes and dreams. We want mansions. We want beautiful cars. We want, you know, a, a job where we make a lot of money. We can vacation all the time. Not saying you can't have it, but just saying that you need to make whatever your, your, your wish, your dream, your desire is attainable. It needs to be something that is uh, on a line with the way that you're going and the things that you're doing because when we say law of attraction, you are actually bringing stuff into your life along the lines of, of, of where you are, where you are now. So the ideas, the, um, the people, the jobs, the opportunities are gonna be in line with where you are now. And, and I'm going to say this because you could take a big leap. You could take a huge jump. You know, some miracle, miracles happen all the time. So, whereas you might be on a, on a level where you don't have the funds in your bank account to buy the home that you envision... It doesn't mean that you can't get the home that you envision. Who knows what can happen to make that opportunity available to you? Because the universe is trying to make that come to you. It wants to come to you. Love wants, just like they say, misery loves company. Well, love wants to grow and manifest and create. It wants to come into your life. It wants to be a part of your life. It wants you to be happy. You know, when Jesus was here, he said, I came to make life better. Not to condemn the world, and that's paraphrasing. But that's what he said. He said, I didn't come here to, to make this a miserable life for you guys. I love you. I want this to be a great run for you. I want you to have everything that you desire your heart's wishes i want you to have it but you got to believe it and you got to stop thinking negatively so let me give you those five ways that you can manifest your dream life into 3d because that's where we are we're in the 3d realm right so the first way that you can manifest your, your dream life into the 3D, into your real life is by believing in it. Okay, and we've talked about this before, but obviously we need to talk about it again. Believing in it. You've got to believe that you can manifest it. If you don't believe in it, who else? And the more you believe in it, the more of that great energy that you're putting, that vibration you're putting out there, and it's going to start making its way, I like to say back to you, because I always think things are coming back, coming back to you. It's coming back to you again. It is. Keep putting that good Vibe, that good vibration keep putting that out there and it's going to be coming back to you say your affirmations every single day I am prosperous I am wealthy I am rich I live in a life of abundance I have everything I want everything I need it's right there at my fingertips speak it into existence. I, I have spoken everything that I have into existence. And that's the truth. My house, 
I spoke into existence. My car, I spoke into existence. It's, it's, the, it's, the, uh, it's the car that I want. It's the vehicle that I wanted. It's the house that I wanted at the time. But see, as we live and as we grow, our desires change, right? And that's just our human nature. Things change what we want. So, you know, that's why, you know, we, we keep going, keep going up different levels because things change what we want. Our circumstances change. So that's number one. You got to believe it. Number two, you have to do something towards it. You can't just sit and do nothing. You know, this whole thing has, you know, you, you have to really um, read between the lines at what I'm saying because you can't force it to happen. You don't want to force anything to happen. You don't want to force somebody to love you. You don't want to force somebody to marry you. You don't want to force somebody to stay with you. You want them to be with you because they want to be with you. And that's the same thing for opportunity, ideas. You don't want to force it because when you force it, it's not right. It's just not right because you're forcing the thing. You want things to happen naturally. So even though it's happening naturally, you still have to do things to make it happen. Like for example, meditate on the thing, research that thing, work on, still work on that thing in the background, work on the skill that you might need. What, whatever it is, you just keep working because for example, what if somebody comes, comes knocking on your door and says, hey, we got um, the opportunity to do these movies. We're looking for a really good script. Um, and I heard you're a writer. Did you ever write that book that you said you were going to write? And then you want to be like, oh, I never wrote that book. I didn't write that script. See? Opportunity missed. You know, so when things are coming to you to do it and you feel that passion and you feel that uh, vibe and that tug from the universe, do it. You never know. You might be digging something out, dusting something off and presenting it to someone you know good material lasts more than a lifetime you know look at different books that people are still reading from years ago these authors are long gone and we're still reading their stuff you know artwork vincent van gogh never made a dollar while he was alive i think his brother bought some of his stuff but now his stuff is worth millions of dollars because people recognize the genius in it you know so don't get discouraged because your stuff is not selling right now or nobody is interested in your stuff right now don't let that discourage you you know that's an opportunity that could be missed if you didn't write or or create the the thing that you were supposed to create so you need to you need to do it to have it come back to you to have it manifest into your life so just don't sit there you have to do stuff you know do stuff to have things come it's, it's reciprocal have it come back into your life number three so the third thing that you want to do to manifest the dream that you have is you want to keep it to yourself you don't want to tell everybody because when you start telling everybody everything every little thing every little detail hmm we got some haters out there they might be starting to hate on you they might be like hmm i hope she don't get that hmm i hope he don't get that promotion hmm i hope she don't make that money or she thinks she gonna get it. i hope she don't get it right so you don't want to tell people everything you want to keep some stuff to yourself don't don't tell them all all your plans don't tell them your plans so and with saying that let's go to number four which is write it down we talked about it before that's right write it down write your plans down put them on paper you know um that makes it real and once again i can't stress this enough it might not happen overnight for you. I don't think it really happens overnight for too many people. 
although it may seem overnight if you take that time work, right? But do it, you know, write it down and then it'll, you'll see, you'll see things start to grow and manifest. Keep writing it down, write it down, and write it down again. You know, this is something that I say often, which is write it down, write your plan down and um, write the date in and all of that and just continue writing it down because it will manifest as you continue to pour that belief into it, pour your energy into it. It's going to happen. It has no choice but to happen. It has no choice. It's being told what to do and it has to respond to you because you have power. You have power beyond, beyond this world. You have supernatural powers, supernatural powers to bring those things into your life. And so you, you want to believe that. Believe that you have the supernatural power to bring into your life what you want in your life. So write it down and write that down. Write it down. <laughs> so the fifth thing that you want to do to manifest your dreams into your life is get into the habit of meditation. Meditating. I did some meditation last night. I did some sleep meditation. And it was really nice, actually. I did it for like almost like over an hour. That, that meditation just kept going on and on and on and on. So, like, right before you go to bed, instead of, you know, you want to be careful what the last thing is on your mind. Because you want to wake up with, with good vibrations and good frequency and all of that. So, you want to learn how to relax yourself. You want to learn how to relax your brain. You want to learn how to give yourself a break and how to rest. Rest. Relax. And, you know, bring that, bring that stuff into your life by doing that, by resting and relaxing. You don't want to be filled with anxiety. Oh, no. I didn't get that client I wanted. That was a big case for me. I really wanted that client. Okay. So you didn't get it. Another client is right behind that one. And since you're crying about that one, you're going to miss the next one. So you want to make sure that you're not having anxiety over stuff, that you're living a stress-free life, and that you're just, you're, you know, you're doing some meditation and you're um, getting enough rest to bring that stuff towards you. The law of attraction is real. You really can, will, and do attract things into your life. But you want to attract the things that you desire so that you can have the best life that you want. I want you to have the best life that you dream of. I think we should all have our dreams. That takes us all to believe in ourselves and believe that we can take that next step, that next wonderful step towards what is in is in this, these brains of ours, right? Our will, our will to do good, our will to show up like the person we want to be. Show up like that person. Be that person. You are that person. So if you want to manifest something into your life, you have to be the person that you want to be because in the future, you are already there. So it's been great talking to you today. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Stay afloat